Hi, I'm Helen with So Kind of Wonderful. Happy you've joined me today. Today I am talking about the arches block in the Sedona pattern. And I'll show you some of the blocks I've already put together. These are my arches blocks. I have two patterns going on here. This is my table runner. And then this is my medallion one. So you can see how fun they are. You can also see that this centerpiece you could make as an accent or you could use just the background fabric that you have already chosen. So let's go ahead and get busy making this block. All right, so this is the video tutorial for our Sedona blocks. And we are working on month four. And so this is the pattern. We're in here on month four or block four, however you're thinking of this pattern. And block four is called arches. So we're going to talk about just the basics of making one of these blocks. So it starts with, I have four five inch squares of my focus fabric. And then I have four five inch squares of my background fabric. And the basic shapes, we're actually making two blocks this month. We're making arches, which is block four. And then again, the last month is um, the horizon blocks. And this is the other half of the horizon blocks. So it's kind of fun. You actually make two blocks. So we start with the QCR mini ruler. I have my four focus fabrics all lined up here. And they're all right side up. And I'm just going to take this V on my ruler. It's hard to see there. So there's a V, this dashed V on the ruler. And I'm going to place that on the corner here of my stack of fabrics. Take your regular rotary cutter and cut in your curve cutout. That gives you two shapes. Let's do the same thing again with our background fabric. So here we have four five by fives. Position that V right here on the corner and cut in the curved cutout. It does not matter if the fabrics are right side up or right side down because this is a symmetrical shape. So now we have two shapes. We have A and B. So we're going to swap these out with the ones we already cut here and here. And then we're going to go ahead and sew this curve seam and sew this curve seam. All right, we're going to sew our curves together. And for this block, we use um, half of them in this month, and then we use the other half for our horizon blocks. So for this one, we're using the B focus print and the A background. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this curve seam. And to do that, we always start with the concave on the bottom and the convex on top. And here I'm just leaving a little quarter inch tail. You're just estimating that because you will square this block up. It just centers the A on the B. So a couple stitches. And then we're just going to feed it and bring the curved edges together. And I'm holding it one I have the left hand on the top fabric, right hand on the bottom, trying really hard not to pull on this. Just bring it over as it feeds. And you can see how nicely that sews up. So I'll go ahead and finish sewing the rest of these and then I will press and I will press my seam to, I think I'll press it to my focus fabric. Just press to focus on the back and the front. Let's square up our AB block. Here I have my QCR mini ruler and I have a little silver dot right here that I put at the four inch line and I went in an eighth of an inch and with my silver sharpie I put a mark. So it's on that intersection 
where this where the solid line and the four inch mark intersect. And I did the same on the other side up here on this four inch mark. I'm putting those two marks on my curved seam here and here. And now I'm going to trim two sides. Lift your ruler. Don't you don't need to rotate your ruler, just rotate the block 180 degrees. This time look at trimmed edges and put trimmed edges on the four inch marks on the ruler here and here. And then cut off whatever is left. And now you can see we have a really nice four inch block. And the reason we move the curve over an eighth is on our next step, when we sew quarter inch seams, it will push that curved seam nice and tight into the intersection. So go ahead and square up all of your blocks. Okay, I have my blocks squared up. And now I have four of my accent pieces. So go ahead, and these are two by two, draw a diagonal line on the wrong side. This is woven and it does not have a wrong side, so I've just drawn it. And then what you're going to do is place this on this inside corner, right sides together, and stitch right on the drawn line. And do that with all four corners here. Okay, I have the piece sewn on. I sewed right on the drawn line. It's a straight stitch. Now I'm going to position my straight edge. I'm just going to use my QCR mini ruler and I'm putting the quarter inch mark on my sewn or drawn line. Trim out here and I'm going to press this open. So go ahead and do that for all of your blocks. Here are my blocks. I went ahead and pressed that open. You could press that straight seam either direction. I just did what was easy and just pressed it open. I could have also made this an accent fabric, not background, but I'm being super traditional on this block and just want just the two fabrics. So now I'm going to lay it out here. So you just lay it out, choose you know which fabrics you want by each other. Maybe I'll swap these two. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew two of these together, press the seam open, and then sew the two rows together, press the seam open. Here is my arches block, and I'll show you the back. So you can see I did press these straight seams open. A rule of thumb for me typically is if it's a curved seam, I press it to the side. If it's a straight seam, I press it open. Although this seam didn't get pressed open, I could have. That just helps manage the bulk in all those corners where the curves, where you get a lot of layers there because we have curves on so many of our blocks. So that's a fun little block. And remember, save the other half of this because we use the other half when you get to the horizon blocks later in the pattern. Thank you for joining me today. That was our arches block from our Sedona pattern. And I look forward to you checking in next month for our next block.